Vancouver is one of the bustling cities in Canada thanks to the breathtaking spot with picturesque shores and soaring mountains lying all around it. From world-class museums and monuments to its historic woods and seawall, Vancouver has so much to offer. But what is Vancouver best known for, and which sites should you see? Let's find out together! Number 25. The Vancouver Aquarium the Vancouver Aquarium is a great place to see marine life up close. Whether you're interested in the tropical fish of the Caribbean or the flora and fauna of the Amazon, with one of the largest aquariums in North America and a prime location in the middle of Stanley Park, this is a must-see for any visitor to Vancouver. Number 24. The PNE the Pacific National Exhibition is an annual event that takes place in the city for 17 days every summer. The century-old festival is a hit with locals because it has thrilling amusement rides, farm animal auctions, a stellar concert lineup, a wide selection of tasty treats, and plenty of vendors selling all kinds of wares. Number 23. Sunshine Coast the Sunshine Coast is a seaside haven accessible through a 40-minute boat voyage. The residents of this coastal town are as wonderfully eccentric as the lax roadways. Visitors might base themselves in Shehelt, Roberts Creek, or Gibson's. Or if they're feeling very daring, they can rent a cottage up in the coast and spend their days browsing real farmers' markets, lounging by serene lakes, or picking up a book and going to the beach for some alone time. Number 22. Christ Church Cathedral there are a number of churches in Vancouver, but few can compare to the splendor of Christ Church Cathedral. No religious affiliation is necessary to appreciate this Gothic Revival building made from West Coast Douglas fir beams. This is a wonderful location to have some peace and quiet because of its magnificent stained glass windows and magnificent archways. Number 21. Science World Science World is a fascinating destination, boasting a wide range of informative and entertaining exhibits that are as diverse as art and the human body to water, air, and animals. Its interactive exhibits entice you to learn more about science and technology. You can see live demonstrations or instructional movies in its enormous Omnimax theater, in addition to participating in entertaining hands-on experiments and activities. Number 20. Bluesel Conservatory The Bluesel Conservatory, rich gardens, and aviary are a beautiful sight from the city's highest point. Its enormous ancient dome, which is part of Queen Elizabeth Park, is a delight to explore because it is filled with lovely exotic plants, trees, and birds. More than 500 different types of flowers, plants, and trees can be found in its wet tropical rainforest and arid desert regions. Number 19. Sea to Sky Gondola Among Vancouver's newest and most anticipated sites is the Sea to Sky Gondola. Vancouver is known for its breathtaking views, and the Sky Pilot Suspension Bridge, which is 100 meters long, offers a 360-degree panorama of the Squamish region. It's possible that you won't want to descend from the untamed mountains above to the vivid turquoise fjord below. Number 18. Pacific Spirit Park Pacific Spirit Regional Park is a stunning destination for vacationers. This park covers 874 hectares of natural forest and a variety of well-maintained running trails. Visitors can stroll through it or take a leisurely 10-kilometer hike around the perimeter. Additionally, this park is not just dog-friendly but also off-leash friendly in many areas, so bring your four-legged companion along. Number 17. Vancouver Lookout A visit to the Vancouver Lookout, located at the city's highest point, will not disappoint those seeking a bird's-eye view of the surrounding area. Its modern viewing deck, which rises 550 feet above sea level, provides unparalleled 360-degree views of the city, the surrounding mountains, and the sea. In addition, visitors can get information about the landmarks and tourist destinations below or stop by the rotating restaurant. Number 16. Spanish Banks Beach 
Spanish Banks Beach is a beautiful, quiet beach that's about a 15-minute drive from the city. It provides a fantastic selection of outdoor activities as well as breathtaking views of both the adjacent coastline and Vancouver in the distance. It is located along the shores of English Bay. Visitors can play soccer or volleyball in addition to relaxing on the beach and swimming in the ocean. And there are bike trails, picnic spaces and park seats all over the place. Number 15. Lynn Canyon Lynn Canyon Park, nestled within Lynn Valley, has been a popular destination for hikers for over a century. No matter how brief your visit, you must see this, since it comes complete with paths, well-liked swimming holes, magnificent waterfalls, and a nerve-wracking suspension bridge 50 meters up in the canopy. Number 14. Van Dusen Botanical Garden just 10 minutes south of the city's core is the huge and beautiful Van Dusen Botanical Garden. Stunning natural features may be found in each direction you look, including beautiful walkways and water features. The beautiful park, which first welcomed visitors in 1975, features various distinct areas, including a maze, meditation garden, rhododendron walk, Korean pavilion, and Sino-Himalayan region. Around the holiday season, when hundreds of dazzling fairy lights adorn its plants, trees, and shrubs, it transforms into a truly enchanted place. Number 13. Queen Elizabeth Park Queen Elizabeth Park, a massive green space frequented by locals and visitors alike, is conveniently located adjacent to the garden. It is centered on Little Mountain, the highest point in the city, and offers visitors amazing views of Vancouver, as well as lots of gorgeous green spaces and enjoyable outdoor activities. Number 12. Gastown Gastown is the oldest and one of the most attractive neighborhoods in Vancouver, despite its somewhat peculiar name. Modern clothing stores, elegant boutiques, and some of the city's greatest cuisine are housed in old Victorian buildings. This neighborhood is located on the north side of downtown, between Richard Street, Main Street, and Hastings Street. Number 11. Richmond Night Market the Richmond Market is one of the most fascinating places to explore in the city, especially if you come during the warmer summer months. Richmond, which is home to the largest Chinese community in Vancouver, puts on quite a show with its countless vendors selling trinkets, unique delicacies, and live art performances. Number 10. Grouse Mountain Grouse Mountain is a must-see for anybody visiting Vancouver, whether you're an experienced hiker or just looking for a breathtaking panorama. The Skyride, the largest aerial tramway in North America, is located at Grouse Mountain and is the simplest route to ascend. You can go skiing, snowmobiling, or use the trails after the Skyride transports you a remarkable 3,700 feet up to the Alpine Station. Number 9. Dr. Sun Yat-sen Garden The Dr. Sun Yat-sen Classical Chinese Garden in Vancouver's Chinatown is the first park in the Ming Dynasty style to be constructed outside of China. Its 52 craftsmen all traveled from Suzhou, China to help bring the garden to life. The park, which bears the name of the first president of the Republic of China, transports visitors to 15th century China even though it was just constructed in the middle of the 1980s. In this busy city, the gardens imported pebbles from Suzhou, vegetation, water features, and architecture come together to create a tranquil haven. Visitors can unwind and let their senses take control in the courtyards of the garden. Number 8. Deep Cove Deep Cove is one of the best and safest spots to go ocean kayaking in all of Canada, making it a top attraction in Vancouver for those who want to spend a day immersed in nature. A calm paddle up Indian Arm will take you into a beautiful fjord where woodland animals will come right up to the edge of the river to say hello. Number 7. Robson Street 
Not only can you find high-end boutiques and trendy stores on Robson Street, it also provides art galleries, informal and elegant restaurants, and a variety of ethnic cuisines. At night, a large number of street entertainers are present to amuse shoppers or people watchers sipping coffee at a sidewalk cafe. Number 6. Museum of Anthropology at UBC For those who are interested in learning more about indigenous people around the globe, particularly the North Coast Indians of British Columbia, who are referred to as the First Nations, the University of British Columbia's Museum of Anthropology is a must-visit. Here, you can see wonderful examples of the enormous totem poles that North Coast tribes used to tell stories, as well as tools that all indigenous people used on a daily basis. Number 5. Canada Place Canada Place stands out predominantly on Vancouver's skyline, with its fabric-covered roof peaks resembling sails. In order to assist Canadian Pacific Railway and other merchants transporting products across the Pacific Ocean by ship, Canada Place was constructed in 1927. The building itself is a rainbow of hues, each one illustrating the diversity found in Canada. Number 4. Stanley Park Stanley Park, located in the heart of Vancouver, is a jewel that spans about 1,000 acres. You can cycle all the way around an old-growth forest in Stanley Park, visit sites of historic Aboriginal villages, get a tan on the beach, relax in a rose garden, or get up and close to sea lions and Pacific dolphins. The best way to navigate the park is via bicycle, which can be rented at a few locations near Denman Street. Number 3. Granville Island Granville Island, a peninsula in Vancouver, was one of the most successful urban regeneration initiatives in North America. There are seaside eateries, art galleries, and a bustling entertainment scene with everything from comedy to modern theater. A public market open every day sells seafood and fresh goods. Buskers are also plentiful to amuse tourists while they browse the market and the boutiques. Number 2. Grouse Grind The grind, as it's lovingly called, is a popular climb that begins on Vancouver's north shore at the base of Grouse Mountain and ascends about 850 meters through the Alpine. When you get to the top, a panoramic chalet with cool refreshments and sweeping city views is waiting for you. Once you've recovered, rescue those unstable legs from more pain by taking the Grouse Gondola for a beautiful ride down the mountain. Number 1. Capilano Suspension Bridge the forest in Capilano Suspension Bridge Park changes the very definition of forest stroll. On a suspension bridge that spans the Capilano River and has a length of 140 meters and a peak height of 70 meters, visitors can stroll through the upper reaches of an old-growth rainforest. In addition, the park has treetops and cliff walk, which cling to granite cliff sides. The city of Vancouver is one of the few on Earth where you may ski, surf, travel back in time, and stroll through the world's best urban park all in the span of a single day.